How you doing, sir? Good. Thank you for the opportunity. Thanks for your time. Hello, my name is Johan, and I'm going to interview Javier Dula about how he became a professional photographer. First okay. question, why did you chose this career? First question, why did you chose this career? Well, uh, I guess uh, it, it all started when I was a kid. It goes back to um, <clears throat> like in uh, waterfall, lakes, mountains. It's kind of look the view and I was taking pictures of it, making it look making it look better for other people's view. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think I choose to be a photographer. Why? Uh, well, being a photographer, it's, it's very enjoyable, even though it's, it's a little bit uh, stressful at the time because you spend hours on a computer editing, fixing things that you don't like, just so that way when you show it to your, uh, to your uh, clients, they uh, uh, they meet their expectations, but again, I choose this career because uh, I like developing our pictures uh, to make them look uh, not better, but to make them look uh, enjoyable for other people's point of view. Mm -hmm. Because while we see other people, well, me, I like it when other people see are my product uh, with quality and uh, uh, for example if I show you here you know one of my job that I've done if you look at it, it I like it if you say okay well I like it because you know you took the time to do it uh, choosing this career is 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 has been it's been a big journey you know and at the same time is you ate a lot in the event you ate too much. You get, at the same time, you get to have fun at the uh, the parties that they they hire you. Right, it's pretty fun. So, for example, you know, if they hire you, uh, if you have a photo shoot at the wedding or, or or a video shoot, you get to take pictures, and you get to be, and when you go to do the the video shoot, you get to be in between, you know, fun people, drinking, eating, and all that stuff. So you get. You need to have fun too, so it's 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 it's, it's very fun uh, choosing this career. It, it's I think it's uh, yeah, I think it lasts forever because I mean video shooting and photo and and, and photo shooting is is gonna last forever. All right. Good question. Yes, sir. What is a typical day in your work life like? Well, my, well, my typical right. day at work, uh, I would say that you know. Re receiving quotes from my clients, uh, receiving emails, asking for packages such as weddings, uh, quinceañeras, uh, barriers, packages that I receive uh, on a daily basis. So uh, other than that will be, you know, getting into agreement to do let's say a wedding or a quinceanera mm -hmm. i would say that that is my typical day at work okay third, third question sir what are the most and least rewarding aspects of your job well my most rewarding aspect will be receiving compliments and comments of of the job that i that i have done for that typical client and the least rewarding will be not receiving comments or compliments which it will be that which that would mean that I I did not did a good job to that client so I would say that that, that would be my least rewarding first question what are the working conditions I would say my working condition will be traveling to do the photo shoot and you know that comes with weather a, a vehicle your, your personal time, making arrangements to your personal life. Because you know, you never know that I might have a key, I might have an appointment with a doctor, or you know, who knows. So that will, that will, that, will, that I always say that will be my condition uh, work. Okay. That you have to make an arrangement 
with your personal life and then your your, your work. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. The fifth question. Will you choose this career if you could make the decision again? What if again? Will you would you do it differently? Uh, I would say yes. Okay. Uh, differently will be to be more prepared. Okay. I think as I started this career uh, not at the right time, but I still did it. If it was different, I would probably start it maybe five years younger or you know, six or seven. It would be a thing much easier due to, uh, you know, other, other, um, <clears throat> other problems that you already have in your personal life while you're taking this career. Okay. So it will, it will, I will probably have started earlier with maybe zero stress or you know, zero uh, uh, problems in life. So. Okay. Do I make you famous? Sixth question, sir. Does this career involve in leaving? Does it involve in leaving in one community all of your life or moving to different cities, states, country every couple of years? Uh, involving or moving, uh, that doesn't apply to this uh, career, but you know, uh, if that was the case, going to different places, I think most people take those chances because you get to work with different people. Mm -hmm. You get to uh, hear different uh, opinions, or, or it's just it's just a, a, a totally different uh, environment working with other people from different states. So me myself, I'll be working uh, in this area, which is you know uh, Oakland, Hayward, mm -hmm. San Francisco. So it's, it had. It, I mean, no, <clears throat> that doesn't apply, moving or, you know, or anything like that, but <clears throat> I think it's better to do those type of changes in this career because like, you need to work with different people from different states, but no, okay. that does not involve. Okay. <clears throat> this career provide the opportunity to balance the time between work and family? Yes, it does, because you actually... Uh, when you're a photographer, you become a self-employed. So you, you don't work for nobody, you don't work for a company. Instead, you are your own company. You can manage your personal time with your uh, work time, uh, you, uh, your best convenience. So let's say if you happen to uh, <clears throat> be uh, displaced at a certain time, you can always manage with your family. You can put your family on, on hold, which is a little bit difficult because family is very important right. and your work is very important. So you kind of like balance it out uh, at the same time. Mm -hmm. So before taking uh, an agreement with your uh, client, you can always think about, okay, well, if I have, if I have an appointment, I have an appointment with a doctor or an or, or, uh, or, 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 uh, invitation from your family, you can always Make, make some arrangement. So they said, okay, well, you can tell your family that you cannot make it because you have work. So it's always, you know, it's always, uh, <clears throat> it's always, uh, it's always flexible. You're flexible with your work. So when you're flexible, I mean that, you know, you don't, um, you, 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 you are uh, self-employed. You can, you can say no and then with your family, or you can say yes to your work, and then not be with your family. Okay. Now, <clears throat> our next question, sir. <laughs> what are some related careers that I should consider? <clears throat> some related careers that you should consider is, uh, I would say that, be your own boss. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, be a self-employed. <clears throat> so a uh, photographer is one of those options that you get to do with. You know, you... you, you uh, <clears throat> You get to schedule your 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 own work whenever you can or whenever you want. You can stop working to be a photographer whenever. Just pretty much, if you want it or not. Right. If you want to make some money, of course you want to go out there and look for, for work. So yeah, I will. Some related career will be maybe a uh, <clears throat> mechanic. Build your own shop. Uh, be a. Uh, what would I say? Um, salesperson. Um, I would say be a salesperson. You can sell product invented by you. Okay. Of course, it's going to take some time to be popular, but that's, that's are the sum of our related uh, careers that you should, you, sh you should consider if you want to be 
self employed and be your own boss. Okay. okay. Next question. Any words of advice of being a professional photographer? Uh, my advice would be in this part of life when you become your uh, your own boss, uh, photographer, uh, would be uh, to have a uh, good communication with your uh, with with your clients, to be patient, to um, to treat them well. Uh, even though when you go uh, through a hard time in your life, so it's 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 stressful, it's hard. But at the end of the day, you have to uh, look out for uh, look out to make a good living. Uh, so my advice would be to to do to do what's right for you, and always to treat uh, people around you well, so that way you have a good reputation. Because you live you live by uh, your reputation and by comments. Mm -hmm. Because you never know when you work with a client, that client might tell somebody else how, what great, what, what a great job you did. Okay. So that would be my advice to always be friendly and to always be professional every day. All right, sir. Thanks for your time. Yes, you're very welcome. Have Thank a good you. luck, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, like sir. Photographer. Yeah, photographer. You know. <laughs> photographer. <laughs> Hello, my name is Juan, and I'm going to interview Javier Tule about how he became a professional photographer. Photographer. Home. 